the Arctic, a land of snow and ice, a place where the landscape is dominated by vast white expanses and the air is crisp and biting. It seems impossible to imagine life thriving in such a harsh environment. The relentless cold, the fierce winds and the scarcity of resources make survival a daunting challenge. Yet for centuries, the Inuit people have called this frozen desert their home. They have adapted to the extreme conditions with remarkable resilience and ingenuity. They have survived and flourished thanks to their deep understanding of the land and their ingenious inventions. Their way of life is a testament to human adaptability and the power of traditional knowledge. One such invention is the igloo a temporary winter dwelling that exemplifies the Inuit's resourcefulness and adaptability. These structures are not just shelters, they are marvels of engineering. Igloos are dome-shaped structures built from compacted snow. The snow acts as an insulator, trapping heat inside and providing a surprisingly warm refuge from the freezing temperatures outside. They are typically used as temporary shelters during hunting trips or as overnight lodging during long journeys. The ability to construct these shelters quickly and efficiently is crucial for survival in the Arctic. The Inuit people's traditional knowledge of building these remarkable shelters has been passed down through generations. This knowledge is a vital part of their cultural heritage and survival strategy. They have relied on these icy havens for protection from the bitter cold and biting winds that sweep across the Arctic landscape. The igloo stands as a symbol of human ingenuity and the enduring spirit of the Inuit people. Building an igloo is an art form, passed down through generations of Inuit people. This skill is not just about survival, it is a testament to their ingenuity and deep connection with the environment. It requires a keen eye for the quality of snow, a strong understanding of structural integrity, and a good deal of physical strength. The snow must be just right, not too soft, not too hard. It must be compact enough to hold its shape and provide insulation against the harsh Arctic winds. The Inuit traditionally use a snow knife, a long, flat blade made of bone, ivory or metal to cut blocks of compacted snow. This tool is essential for shaping the snow blocks precisely, ensuring they fit together seamlessly. They carefully select snow that is hard packed and dense, offering the best insulation. This type of snow is usually found in wind-packed drifts where the natural forces have already done some of the work of compacting it. The construction begins with a circle of snow blocks laid on the ground. This base layer is crucial as it sets the foundation for the entire structure. Each subsequent layer of blocks is cut slightly smaller and placed on top, creating the igloo's characteristic dome shape. This gradual tapering is what gives the igloo its strength and stability. The blocks are carefully angled inwards, leaning on each other to form a stable, self-supporting structure. This inward angle is critical. It ensures that the weight of the snow is evenly distributed, preventing collapse. The final block, the keystone, is fitted into the top, sealing the igloo. This keystone locks all the other blocks in place, completing the structure and making it ready to withstand the elements. It seems counterintuitive that a structure made of snow could provide warmth in sub-zero temperatures. The secret lies in the remarkable insulating properties of snow. Snowflakes are made up of intricate crystals with a lot of air trapped between them. This trapped air is what makes snow such a good insulator. When compacted into blocks, snow retains a surprising amount of air. This trapped air acts as a barrier, slowing down the transfer of heat from the warm interior of the igloo to the cold outside air. The thicker the snow walls, the more effective the insulation and the warmer the igloo becomes. <laughs> While the insulating properties of snow are crucial, another factor contributes significantly to the warmth inside an igloo body heat. The snow walls of the igloo act as an excellent insulator, trapping the heat generated by the occupants inside. This natural insulation is vital for survival in the harsh, cold environments where igloos are commonly used. As the occupants move around and go about their activities, they generate heat. Simple actions like cooking, talking and even breathing contribute to the overall warmth. 
The more people inside, the warmer it gets, as each person adds their own body heat to the confined space. This body heat is trapped within the confined space of the igloo, further raising the internal temperature. The warm breath of the occupants can often be seen condensing in the cold air, a visible testament to the heat being generated and retained. The igloo's design also plays a role in maximizing heat retention. Its dome shape helps to evenly distribute the heat, preventing any single area from becoming too cold. The compact structure minimizes the surface area exposed to the cold air outside, further enhancing its insulating properties. The entrance is usually a low, narrow tunnel that helps to minimize heat loss when entering and exiting. This tunnel acts as a barrier, preventing the warm air inside from escaping too quickly and keeping the cold air outside from rushing in. Additionally, the interior is often dug out slightly lower than the entrance, creating a cold sink where cold air can settle, allowing warmer air to rise and circulate near the occupants. This clever design ensures that the warmest air stays where it is needed most providing a comfortable living environment even in the most extreme conditions. Section 5, The Dance of Heat. To understand how an igloo stays warm, we need to delve into the fundamental principles of heat transfer. Heat always flows from warmer areas to cooler areas. This transfer can occur through three main processes, conduction, convection and radiation. Conduction is the transfer of heat through direct contact, like when you touch a hot stove. Convection is the transfer of heat through the movement of fluids, like air or water. Radiation is the transfer of heat through electromagnetic waves, like the heat you feel from the sun. Section 6. Igloos Beyond the Arctic the principles behind the igloo's remarkable thermal efficiency have inspired modern architects and engineers. The use of natural, readily available materials for insulation combined with a design that optimizes heat retention holds valuable lessons for sustainable building practices. Imagine homes built with recycled materials designed to maximize natural light and minimize energy consumption. These eco-friendly dwellings could incorporate passive heating and cooling systems, reducing our reliance on fossil fuels and promoting a more sustainable future. Uh, section 7. Ancient Wisdom for Modern Challenges The Inuit people's ability to thrive in one of the harshest environments on Earth is a testament to human ingenuity and adaptability. Their traditional knowledge, honed over millennia of living in harmony with nature, provides valuable insights into sustainable living practices. By studying and adapting these time-tested techniques, we can develop innovative solutions for the environmental challenges we face today. From sustainable building materials to energy-efficient designs, the possibilities for learning from the past to create a better future are vast. Section 8, A Sustainable Future. As we grapple with the consequences of climate change and resource depletion, the need for sustainable living solutions becomes increasingly urgent. The igloo, a symbol of human resilience and ingenuity, offers a powerful reminder that we can learn from the past to build a more sustainable future. By embracing traditional knowledge and incorporating it into modern design and technology, we can create a world where human needs are met in harmony with the natural environment. Imagine cities designed to be self-sufficient, powered by renewable energy sources and built with sustainable materials. Section 9, a testament to human ingenuity. The igloo, a marvel of ancient engineering, stands as a testament to the ingenuity and adaptability of the human spirit. It is a reminder that even in the face of adversity, we are capable of finding innovative solutions to overcome challenges and thrive. As we navigate the complexities of the 21st century, let us draw inspiration from the past, embrace innovation, and work together to create a sustainable future for all.